Adobe Photoshop. Hey, what's up? Robert here, coming at you with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add these rims onto this car. So it's a very simple technique, nothing hard about it. So the first thing you should do is go to Google and find an image of rims that you'd like to have on your car. Pretty much rims already on the car would make it a lot easier for you. Now you can always make your own custom rims in some kind of 3D software or Illustrator or even here in Photoshop. You can draw them out on a piece of paper and turn those into rims. But in this tutorial we're just going to take these tires and transfer them on over. So I'm going to go to File, Place. And I'm going to locate the folder with the wheel that I want to add onto this image. And it's right here. Wheel, we're going to hit place and hit enter to confirm that. Then we're going to go ahead and select the elliptical marquee tool. It's usually hiding under the rectangular marquee tool. You can also hit M to find this tool. We're going to simply click and drag out the elliptical marquee tool. Now I want to move it around. So I'm going to hold down the space bar just so I can move that selection around and position it the best I can over this rim. Now we only want the rim not the tires. So that selection looks pretty good. Now I'm going to hit control J on my keyboard or I can right click and choose layer via copy. Now what that did was it extracted the tire from the wheel layer so we're just left with the rim. And what we can do is bring this down and position it to the center of the tire. Now you can hit control R on your keyboard to bring up the rulers or you can go to view rulers. And what we can do is simply drag grid lines down here to the center of the tire and as best as we can. That looks pretty close to the center. And what we can do is bring this rim on over to the center and it should snap. If you go down to view, snap, it could snap to those grid lines right in the center. And we can hit control T, hold down shift and alt to constrain the proportion and let it scale within the center here. And we can bring this down to wherever looks good, just like that. Now that we have that done, we can go ahead and duplicate this layer by hitting Control J or dragging it down to a new layer icon. And then bring this wheel over to the other tire. You can also use some grid lines to position it in the center if you'd like. Just like that. And since the front tire is turned just a little bit, we can hit Control T or go to Edit Free Transform and bring this side in just a little bit. And there we have it. So you can hit Control H to hide our guides or go to View, Extras. And there we have our custom rims on our car. Not really custom, but rims from another car. And it looks pretty realistic. Here's just another example. And it's a lot easier to take it from another car because then you get the brakes in the background as well as the light that shines through. Now you can always bring in your own rims uh, just the outside of the rim and then design some brakes or get some brakes behind that rim and then, you know, add your own light shining through. Everything's up to you. Obviously, the longer you take, the better it will look. So there you have it. Taking rims from another car and adding them to your car, that's the way to do it. And as a bonus, you're less likely to get your wheels stolen. And it's a lot cheaper. So there you go, a pretty basic and simple technique, but it's a good one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook.